invited to, but why wait until the weekend to have a little fun? Oh, no, no. Why don't we get the party started right now, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Because it's not just Friday. It's Say It With Me, audience. It's Friday! Yes, yes, yes. Cheers, ladies. <laughs> oh, I'm Cheers. excited. Wait, what are we having? Okay, I'm about to tell yeah, yeah. you. Okay. Today's okay. Friday drink is an absolute classic cocktail. It's a spicy, marvelous mule, mm. which is a combination of ginger beer, lime juice, lime, and of course, vodka. To find out how you can make this cocktail or mocktail version at Ooh. home, head on over to thereal.com. <laughs> All right, you guys. Who's... What's going on? No, this is a lot in there. No. <laughs> our, yeah. our staff must be feeling real fry yay today because okay. this yeah. is lit. It is. <laughs> it's lit. Well, <laughs> since it's lit, you ready to have a lit fry yay girl chat? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 Okay, first up. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair to say that grandparents play a very vital role in their grandchildren's lives. They can be an endless source of love and support for them. However, for many <laughs> families, it's not always that simple. Believe it or not, grandparent estrangement is a real thing nowadays, with many parents not allowing their parents to see their kids because of personal grudge or a, an issue between them. And if the situation remains unresolved, then the grandchildren are the ones who end up suffering by losing out on getting to know their grandparents. So ladies, do you think it's ever fair for the parents to stand in the way of their kids having a relationship with their grandparents? What? No. Sometimes. Sometimes. It, Interesting. It depends. I mean, well, if they're abusive or if yeah, there's some that's substance different. abuse Clearly, issues yeah. or something like that. And the then same of the kids. Right. But let's just, you know, pull that out and just say maybe if yeah. there's some If it's not detrimental for the child's well-being and safety, yeah. obviously if your child's not safe, with their grandparent, then they should not be there. But this is just my opinion. I really, really believe in honoring our parents. I believe in honoring... Um, I understand that we may not agree with every decision that our parents make. I'm, you're never gonna agree with everything they did when you were a child. You may not agree with everything they do now that you're an adult, but you still honor your parents. That's your mother, yeah. that's your father, and they deserve to have a relationship. Now, does that mean I'm leaving my kids with you? That I'm gonna give? My... No, I think there are boundaries that you can decide for yourself are good for you as a parent and for your child. But, but I just, I don't, I think that's unfair. I think it's unfair, more importantly for the kid. Yes, and I think, well, yeah. It does, they miss it does out on depend. having grandparents. I mean, like an example, like a grandparent and a parent may not always agree on your parenting style. They yeah. may say something, and then sometimes you get into your feelings. Yeah. And if that's the case, I think everyone just needs to be adult, be an adult, master their feelings, get out of their feelings, and just, you know, let the, grand, the grandchild be with the grandparent. Because I know for me, I mean, I didn't know my dad's side of the family um, because they were estranged. Estranged, and that that hurt me. I know my mom's side, and I love that relationship yeah. that I have. And I feel like a grandparent, a grandchild relationship is very special. And I'm gonna not let my feelings get in the way of that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be an adult, yeah. an adult about that. That is so mature. Yeah. yeah, so mature. But what if the grandparent is doing something that the parent just, you know, because sometimes there's stubbornness in the relationship. True. Say, for example, like if your child is with them and they, th they have the feeling of, I know, I raised you this way, but True. maybe you don't want that to be done. So yeah. then what do you do in that case? What if, you know, there are cases of even, I'm talking about little minor things. It might seem like it's minor, but it could be major to the child. Like their eating habits, or their eating styles, um, letting them be spoiled, letting them get away with certain things. You know, what do you do? And, you I mean, have you an supervise. adult conversation. Or you have an adult conversation. Yeah. Like, yes. you have to, sometimes you have to, it's true though, but sometimes you have to remind, sometimes you have to remind your parents that you are an adult now. Yeah. Right. You have yeah. to say, like, mom, dad, come on now, respect my choices. And it has to go, like, back and forth. It has and then, to be a nice dance yeah, between respect. the two of you. And but respect. what if they don't well, respect that? And, and then, if they that's then why I think you, some you put up boundaries, don't. like I think that's when you decide, I don't trust you to... Or maybe spanking, discipline. Or sp then yeah. I, I don't see why we can't all just 
have time together, but my child will know their grandparents. Yeah. Does that make sense? I also think yeah. there's sometimes, there's just a right time and a, and a right place and a right age, right? So my mom, she actually, the reason why she met my father and why she got pregnant with me is because she ran away from my grandfather. My grandfather was extremely abusive and harsh on my mom. And when she raised me, I heard some stories that made me never want to meet him ever in my life. So for the whole, my whole life, my mom pretty much ostracized us from my grandfather. And my brothers are boys, and so they were always like, what's up with grandfather? They missed a, a, a grandfather in the, in the house. Mm. So they went to go visit him separately, but I never really kept in touch with them or visited him because of the things I pictured him doing to my mom. So just last Christmas, I'm 39 now, at Christmas, I don't know where these kids thought that it was a cute idea, but out of nowhere, you know, um, they called my grandfather to ask him what he was doing for Christmas. And of course he was alone, because my whole family was like, you mean, you're old, you know, you're gonna be on your own by yourself. So he's by himself. My, my brothers brought him, and when the door opened and my grandfather walked in, something, and I do believe it's the Holy Spirit in the room, just came over all of us because it was Christmas, and because his, the look on his face, I knew that he knew he had done wrong. And there's no way he can erase that time, but for just to let time and our hearts let itself heal and work mm -hmm. its way in individually through our relationships. Right. So we sat grandpa down, we did some shots with him, and it was one of the best <laughs> I'll ever have because of that. And I your just mom want there. there. You should be really happy that you have a grandfather that's alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly. And, and that, that you can do shots with. with yes, that's yeah. Yes. That's yes. He's, oh he's living it, it's true. I'm gonna post part. a picture of my grandfather. He, he is amazing. He is Mom, yeah. I yeah. just need to know, how did your mom handle that conversation? I know. The Where first, was she? Everybody was like, oh my gosh, I'm white, which means grandfather. Mm -hmm. And some people cried, and some people, the kids were a little scared because they've heard of him, like he's not supposed to be around us. But my mom, she sat real still. You know, she's the lioness of the house. And we, I looked at her, and I was like, yo, she can get crazy real quick and kick <laughs> him out, throw things. It's insane. But she looked at me, and she said, it's OK. Yep. And we said, it's she OK. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Yes. Now looking back as, as your mom, does she regret miss time? Or do I, you regret miss time? That you girl, know? it was just a Christmas. You gotta go slow with Mama Mai. She's not there yet. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna wait till Valentine's Day to ask that. But I do wanna ask, I wanna ask mom, like that was your dad. He missed the birth of my brothers, yeah. me. He missed me growing up. My cute ass looking like this. Like, <laughs> I don't know what he knows. So well, I'm gonna catch up now. Yeah. yeah. Grandparents can sue for visitation if you're having some issues. Just wow. understand that if you Ooh. sue for visitation, it's not easy to get the rights. It's the cost of the lawsuits, also the cost of the um, the uh, the attorney. So, but just what you just said, I'm only saying that because of what you just said. Yeah. You lose time, and time is valuable. Yes. Yes. So sometimes you do have to stand up for your rights. Yes. You have to fight, and maybe you have to, you know, work it out. So all the best to people yes. out there. Yes. Try to work it out. Yeah. I love Try that you guys did, though. That's yeah. So well, speaking of frustrated parents, one mother of two recently sparked a huge debate on the site Mom's Net after she revealed she turned down her partner's marriage proposal because it wasn't thoughtful enough. Ooh. The woman who went by the name Not Sunk In Yet said she waited two years for her boyfriend to propose, but when the big moment came, all he did was write, will you marry me on a <laughs> blackboard and left her ring on the kitchen table. That sounds thoughtful to me. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Well, you guys, okay. There's more. The woman claims that he messed up what was supposed to be the biggest moment of her life and that his proposal lacked creativity, romance, and thought. However, other readers on the site said she was being ungrateful and had unrealistic expectations. So now, ladies, does she have the right to be upset? I so, see your face. So basically, he, so just, he just said this. He just did this and go, here, marry me. Yeah. 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 No. And what, Family or partner, yeah. what do you throw on the kitchen table? A post your keys, no, maybe some keys, <laughs> you got a banana. Maybe she describes it as being thrown on the kitchen table. <laughs> I, I don't know about you guys, y'all on Pinterest, because there are some really cute things I've seen on chalkboards where they write it beautifully. It doesn't you don't matter, but she was a school teacher. The ring should have been in his hand and his ass should have been on his I knee. Agree. Yeah, it I agree been the ring should have been. And wait, I read the article and they actually have two kids. You don't just leave a diamond ring on a table <laughs> oh, for your kid and mom and like, okay. okay. I, 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 didn't, I didn't realize that it was just left there. If you wanted to surprise her and you write it on this beautiful blackboard. She didn't say that though. 
No, well, she, she obviously isn't gonna say it like that because she's feeling a little bitter Betty right now. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if it was on a beautiful black, you guys know what I'm talking about. Go on Pinterest and Google yes, these calligraphy. things. It, it can it, really yeah. be beautiful it and could. rustic. I don't think he did that. No, boo. And then, and then, this. if he left it there, and then once she saw it, maybe he stepped out and was like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you're adding more to the you story. Yes. <laughs> no, she's a romantic. This she is, is. She's romantic, romantic. But I will tell you if something is not romantic at all. This but could be somewhat. You saying no? It could no, be. I don't think so. If he walked out and like she surprised it, like you know, there's so many people that have had like roses put all over the place, okay, and then it's just sitting there by itself. Adrian, you got a blackboard Adrian, and a kitchen yes, table. Don't add to it. it. That was Adrian, it. Ju just that those was two. Adrian. I do like the chalkboard idea, but he could have done it in such a We're more thoughtful, and creative what are you doing? way. <laughs> what are you doing? You know how they have like the magnetic, you know, alphabet letters or something. So cute, I they love that. They have kids, but he should have incorporated the kids within the proposal. Yeah. You know, like and did a video. Free. He needed some did help. Something. That's what it was. He did. He needed yeah. help Sounds with his like he, proposal. He's just not as romantic as she wanted him to be. So that's why it's really important. And she to already lived with him. What? So it didn't matter. I mean, she probably was like, I'm already, I already got two kids. I'm already living with you. Don't Maybe care. Maybe he felt so he didn't have it. to make yes. the effort, which no, but you I will still say do. this. You I will say do. this. Having been married before, it didn't last, but we ain't gonna judge on this show now, are we? <laughs> I just, I'm just saying that when it comes to the way you were proposed to, that story is a story that the woman tells for the rest of her life. All the good friends, all the family members at the 40th anniversary, the 50th anniversary, they ask, how did he, he how did he propose? You don't want it to include a chalkboard and a kitchen table. I, I, okay, I let me explain. You, I do agree with you to one point. I don't think she should have been ungrateful. Because the thing is, is obviously, when I read the article, she she said she was looking, you know, up to this moment. She was waiting for a really long time. So I would have been grateful that yeah, he at least Yeah, two asked. kids, yeah, no, no, sure. This is my thing. I think this is where I'm, I might be uh, spoiled. Oh, well, hey, hey, blonde track. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, where I may have been spoiled because I'm sorry. I'm thinking in my mind, Israel, if Israel had a blackboard and a kitchen table, it's gonna be so bomb. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there are ways that people can make these things where yeah. you're gonna ball your eyes out. It's gonna be the most beautiful moment of your entire yeah. life with a damn block blackboard, blackboard <laughs> and a kitchen table. Now, what I will say is this. I have been engaged before. Yes. You guys obviously yes. know that I had been yes. engaged before. Yeah. Yes. I think what makes the biggest difference. Her track's falling out. I know. She can't speak. <laughs> I think it makes the biggest difference depending on the person. Now, I think we all know who we date, right? <laughs> Shut up. Listen. Okay, okay. If you date Don't a man, your statement. if no, you baby. date a man, like, look yes. at me, I'm gonna tell you this. Okay. Now, I knew the guy I was dating. Uh, yes. This person went all out for everyone else, everything else. The person is very detail oriented, uh -huh. always goes over the top. And if the what day you were getting married, the person at six o'clock told your sister, can you find a restaurant that's open? What? And is like, oh, is there, is there, is there a restaurant? I wanna ask her to marry me, is there a restaurant? And, and doesn't put any planning, didn't look yeah. into the place. The place held no significance to me whatsoever. Oh, I see. So you're I bringing this full circle to see why the blackboard meant a lot to you. Yeah. <laughs> I understand now. No, I get it. I get it. It could mean something to someone. You get like if like a blackboard could mean something to somebody. If the person is someone that is detail oriented, plans things out beautifully every other time, and now for this engagement, it's just you know, just find me any restaurant just, that's open. I just want you to know that that's not thoughtful. He pooed it away. Yes. That's what you say. Um, I hope that when Israel watches this, this fine, amazing man who brought her to Pali with her parents and went through all that he did to propose to her and he learned that he could have made you happy with a blackboard. He could have. I hope he does.